Hey guys, I'm Josie, and I hope you all had fun celebrating New Year's. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, I had a chat with someone online yesterday, someone I've known uh, for a while now from the iPower social network, but I didn't really know much about him. The guy, Nasser, is uh, 17, and he's an Arab-Palestinian, and he's living in Israel at the moment. He's living in, in Nazareth. And he asked me if I could maybe make a clip and talk a bit about what's really going on there. He celebrated Christmas in Palestine, in Bethlehem, where a lot of his friends and family are. And one day after Christmas, uh, ten of his friends were dead. Uh, hundreds of people have died already, and more will probably suffer. But now, but now Nazareth, uh, which appears to be the only big Arab city in Israel, they decided to uh, march uh, a few days later, a very peaceful march in honor of the human slaughter. And Israeli police decided uh, to arrest them. They took away their driving licenses and they prevented people from going to college. This is a very complex uh, conflict between Israel and Palestine and I'm not gonna take sides because I don't really know enough about it. I only know what I've seen from the news which is very biased and censored information that the media allows us to have. But since I'm making a clip about this I felt I kinda owed it to you guys to look into it a bit and I've researched it a bit online and for those of you who are kind of like me and don't really know what's going on, there's a short summary of the conflict in the sidebar, so if you want to check that out. I've tried to keep it as neutral as possible, but if you find any incorrect information about this, you can send me a message or leave a comment. The situation now is that there was a ceasefire between Palestine and Israel, and the opinions are divided uh, about who actually broke the ceasefire. A lot of people are saying that uh, Hamas actually broke the ceasefire, that they've been firing rockets on Israel uh, during the supposed ceasefire and that the Israeli response was completely justified. This is an opinion that's mostly shared by Americans and a lot of other people, especially in Europe, are saying that Israel broke the ceasefire. Israelis have shut off Gaza from the rest of the world, so nothing can leave or enter. Uh, they opened the borders temporarily to let in humanitarian aid from other countries, but they blocked it uh, pretty quickly after. So Hamas gets pretty angry about that, and they start taking drastic measures. And Israel is convinced that Hamas is hiding amongst the citizens, so they start bombing uh, pretty random areas. There have been a lot of protests against Israel in some countries, including in Belgium, and some friends of mine feel very strongly about this. Uh, most of them feel that you know Israel invaded Palestine and that they have no claim to the occupied territories. One friend of mine in particular feels that people who take sides in this conflict do so mostly based on religion. People have this general conception that Muslims are bad and Jews are good. But this isn't a matter of religion. Uh, this is about the slaughter of innocent people regardless of their religious views. Nasser told me yesterday that when a bully picks on a weak kid, uh, the other kids shouldn't just stare and do nothing. Unfortunately, that's very often the case. But we're not on a playground anymore. and We're not 10 years old. Uh, we have a voice. So let's use it and uh, make some noise. Anyway, Nasser, this clip is for you. And in honor of all the lives lost, Israelis and Palestinians, due to the unnecessary violence. Stay safe and peace out. Oh, I'm sorry that this clip didn't contain any... or even a guest appearance by... What you pointing at me for? Who is that? A camera or something? Give me that. I'm gonna put that on eBay. It's good, thanks. You can, Y'all can go now. But I think that this is pretty important, and I felt I should share that with you guys, my bestest friends. Thanks for listening.